What's going on guys? Welcome to Dub Saw Shop. Today we're out in the shop. We got a couple projects that we're going to be starting. Got one project that I've been working on for a little bit. And that is the Partner 5000. So we did go ahead and swap carburetors back to the non-governing carb. And guess what? RPMs picked up tremendously. Perfect. So, all along that OEM piston and the way we cut the chamber was the problem that we were having. So, I'm going to flip y'all around and show y'all kind of what I got in mind. We got the part in the 5000 pretty much. We just went out and made a test run with it with the non-governing carb. I have ran a couple different style, different kind of plugs, different heat range plugs in it. <clears throat> And I found out that it likes a 8 heat range the best. Which the ones I'm using are the stands. It's actually like a 131006R. That comes out to the NGK BPMR8Y. It seems to like... A little bit colder plug, a little bit better since it does build up quite a bit of heat. And I've got one more of the WA82s. So, what I'm looking at here is the throttle side. Let me make sure I zero this thing out. Yep. The throttle butterfly side is. Roughly 623 thousandths. 0.623. The Venturi is approximately 499 thousandths. So it's probably right at one half an inch. It's actually a little under a half inch. So that gives us 124 thousandths bigger. <clears throat> so the butterfly side is 124 thousandths bigger. So what I'm going to probably do, I'm going to go ahead and pull this throttle butterfly out. And I think... Probably go ahead and pop the covers off. That way we can clean everything out good. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to bore this thing out. To roughly... I'm thinking 9 sixteenths. 9 sixteenths bit is 0 .556, 0.557. That'll give us approximately 57 to 58 thousandths bigger of venturi we'll allow a little bit more air in and then we can probably go in here and drill our high jet and low jets that way we'll be able to match the air that <clears throat> excuse me then we'll be able to match the air that we're flowing in it's gonna open it up roughly about 25 thousandths on each side which is definitely it's not a lot, but I think it's going to help out a lot. So that's definitely going to be our next move on the part in the 5000. I thought about going ahead and try to end up getting a 372 carburetor on there. But honestly, I just want to see what, what we can do with what the saw semi came with. I want to keep it like it is, see how much we can get out of it, and go from there. Alright, we legit just setting this carb up and the vice 9 16 drill bit. Huh. Found another.
another hole here. Don't worry about it. I found right there. I don't know what that hole goes to. I don't know if it's just a flaw in the casting, but this is where the high jet is, and it opened up pretty big, where it used to be just a little bitty little hole. <laughs> yeah, I think we probably should have went smaller. Well, let's walk out here, see if this thing cuts. chain is definitely needs a touch up no doubt but for what we're doing just testing it's freaking perfect this thing runs awesome i'm loving the way it's running liking the way it's turning out only thing we need to do now go back in correct the squish i think we're gonna open the muffler up just a little bit more Get a little bit of this heat out because she does get just a tick warm. Nothing, no air leaks or nothing, but 
just the way we got it ported. She gets a little hot. Hope you guys like this. Let me know what y'all think. You guys have a great rest of your weekend. Dubs. We out.